Hey everyone, welcome back to Nerd Room with Jane J. James Sharmack here with a film review for you. So I just watched the uh, new Christmas movie, Violent Night. Just dropped on digital today, less than a month in the theaters, and uh, let's talk about it. It's Christmas Eve and a wealthy family is gathering for their Yuletide celebrations when a group of armed terrorists with robbery on their wish list break in and start wrecking all sorts of havoc. Who can save them and stop all the havoc? Why, Kris Kringle, Santa Claus, yes, the man in red himself shows up and goes medieval, literally on all the baddies. The film is a loving tribute to all the action movies that take place during Christmas. It's as if the first two diehards, Home Alone, Fat Man, and even the intro to Scrooge, The Night the Reindeer Died, were thrown into a blender and hit a frappe and they said, let's see what the results come out as. This is a film that right off the bat, where the first scene, it needs to hook you in. Otherwise, you're going to be lost. And for me, thankfully, it did. It hooked me in almost like a James Gunn movie, more or less. It's a film that had me smiling and laughing throughout. I watched it alone at home, but, you know, this is a movie that begs to be seen in a group setting with like-minded individuals who just want to have a good time. And, you know, obviously won't take a movie seriously. You know, it's a party movie. David Harbour is awesome as Santa Claus. He, you know exactly where you're going to get. He plays Santa as not only tough, but tender, doubting, ready to hang it up. The kind of balance that Santa needs to get through this film. And he does it in spades. And he is almost a cult-like hero at the end of the movie. John Leguizamo's character is codenamed Scrooge, but he's so much more. He's also Hans Gruber and the Grinch, all rolled up into one scenery chew and villain. And he goes and gobbles up every single scene he's in as if he was directed to either go big or get cold. And going up against Santa Claus, you really can't overact, am I right? And this is a film that should achieve cult status, not only for the subject alone, but because it's a movie as I was watching it, I wanted to watch again when it was over. And I was already looking forward to next year, and the year after that, and the year after that one, I'm going to watch it again and again. It was clearly created to go after the Die Hard is a movie a Christmas movie set, as it were. And it's you know, much like Fat Man tried to do a few years ago, but it's a bit better than that. The film has its tongue firmly planted in its cheek. Is it a satire? Not really. Is it a spoof? No. But it knows enough not to take itself too seriously either. And it just sticks to its premise, which, you know, is just Santa Claus is John McClane. And all that wants to do is entertain me. And it did in spades. The movie is a silly premise, a myriad of unlikable characters, but despite all that, it gets the job done. It's not as serious as Fat Man was, but doesn't exploit the subject matter either. It does believe in the story, though, and led me curious to see if, just maybe, there might be more to the story, because I would love to see another movie with this kid but Santa Claus. I don't know about you. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, let me know in the comments below. Hit a like, share the video, whatever. Hope you guys have a great holiday. Merry Christmas, Hanukkah, whatever you guys celebrate. Hope you guys have a good time. And uh, my name is James Sharmack. This has been a nerd with Jane J. And as always, keep on collecting and happy hunting.